Well, here we are. I am here to announce the Storyteller Bible. Uh, if you can hear me, then please type your, type your name or where you're coming in from and uh, let, let me know that you can hear me. I was having some, uh, I mean, of course, as you're trying to make a huge announcement and you're setting everything up early, all those kinds of things, then the technical stuff always seems to be really, really fun. So I have some screen sharing stuff I want to do. I'm going to end up having to show it to you on my phone <laughs> because the screen sharing, every time that I tested it this morning, the screen sharing, I could see it on my screen. I could see everything. But within the Facebook Live, it was black. So I couldn't show you any of that. Uh, but, uh, but probably the most important thing is for somebody in here to comment and let me know that you can hear me. Uh, because again, the, the mute thing was, was going on and off, on and off. So uh, hopefully you can you can hear me. But uh, the the some of you have been hearing me talk about and mention that the storyteller Bible. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna type in here. Oh, good audio, good. Thanks, Les. Good to see you, man. <laughs> so I've got kind of the comments over here on the side. I've got my camera right here but some of you have known that i have wanted for a long time to record an audio bible i've, act, I've checked with different translator translations and I mean, different publishers about different things and because almost every translation or because every major translation has an audio bible that's professionally produced that's for sale on amazon and you can get on itunes and all that then permissions were just really not granted. But it's been something that ever since I started doing the biblical storytelling 23 years ago, I can't believe March is going to be 23 years, that uh, it's, it's something that people have been saying, when are you going to record an audio Bible? When are you going to record an audio Bible? I'm like, well, <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of illegal to just record it and put it out there. But I was told about a translation, the Christian Standard Bible, uh, that was just released in 2017, so it's really new. It is probably the best translation I've found that is in the middle of kind of the word-for-word -word translation of the ESV, that kind of literal approach, um, and the which is called formal equivalence or the dynamic equivalence of the NIV, which is the thought for thought, and it, it is very accurate and very readable. I love it that it was put together by a team of over a hundred different people really focused on the language from I think 17 different denominations. So it, it really is a fantastic translation and it it speaks really well. And so I've been excited to uh, to internalize some things in there. Uh, but but the the storyteller Bible is now available. And here, it's really complicated. You ready? Storytellerbible.com. <laughs> so I'm going to put the link and stuff. It, it, that will reroute you to a page on my site. Here is what we decided at the last um, board meeting for my ministry as we were talking about it and how are we going to deliver it and, and how should we release it and all and kind of all the questions around the, the technical stuff of it and what is it going to cost and all that. And, you know, the, the whole mission of this ministry from the get-go has been to get people engaged with the Bible and enjoying their Bible like never before. And so as we talked more and more about what would this cost and what should we do for, you know, should we just put CDs out like we've done in the past with a couple of books when we had permission for a few books for the, for the NIV? Or should we put it on a website or should we build an app? And we just ex kind of explored all those different things. And what we decided is we are going to give it away. So the entire thing is free. You can, so if, if you like that, please <laughs> put a thumbs up or a love or whatever you do. I don't know the whole Facebook Live thing. But uh, if, if that's exciting to you as it's exciting to me, that when we decided that, there's just something that felt right about that. Now, in this first release, it is available in a few different formats. So I am going to, as I mentioned, the whole screen sharing thing didn't end up uh, working. 
So it's funny, I turn on my phone and my phone notifies me that Keith Farron is live right now. How freaky is that? So anyway, uh, but if you go to storytellerbible.com, you will see a page that looks like that. And, uh, and on this page, which I'm gonna try to, try, try to scroll through, I will put some, some links in. You'll see I recorded a, a video um, which I'm actually showing right now on my phone is not updating the right video. It's showing my promo video. So I am going to check that as soon as we're done to make sure that the video I recorded about this, which those of you that are watching this don't need to watch that video because there's a lot of the same stuff. But we have a, a few different elements of the Storyteller Bible that um, I'm trying to get this image off. But there's a section on there that says the whole books. And, and in there, we're releasing it today with 13 books of the Bible. So because we decided to give it, a whole, give it away, we also decided, well, let's not wait until the whole thing is finished because we don't need to have everything done to put it on CDs and have it all done and packaged and know exactly how many CDs it's going to take and all those kinds of things. We thought, well, if we're going to let people stream it, we're going to let people download it, we're going to let people share it, then we can get it out there as soon as possible. And so that decision was just made a few weeks ago, and we've built this website, we've put the streaming, we've just been uploading things and designing the covers and the logos and all that kind of fun stuff that, that goes along with that. And you can now, on that page, there's that, there's that section that has the whole books. And so any time that I release a book, I will add it to that playlist and I will put it in the order that they appear in the Bible. And then as you go down, you'll see I've got one Old Testament book. I've got a section for individual books. And so you'll see I've got the, um, you know, Jonah is the only Old Testament book right now, but we're going to start with the New Testament. And then you'll see the Gospel of John. So if you don't want to listen to the entire book, but you want to find something specific, like you want to go right to John 15 or something, you can go to the specific book and you can tap John 15 if you want to share that in a Sunday school class or you're just listening to something in your car and somebody was, you know, your pastor was preaching on a passage, then you can uh, just go right to that passage. Here's the other cool thing. Under each of the, um, of the individual books, you will see a blue button that says, download John, download Ephesians, download Galatians, whatever it is. And what that is, is that is actually what's called an M4B file, which is an audiobook file. So if you download that onto your computer and put that into your, you know, whatever folder, your iTunes folder, whatever folder, your music is saved when you when you download music. Um, then iTunes will recognize that as an audiobook, which means that you can then put th those ones are not all the individual chapters. Those are the whole books. You download that; it'll synchronize with your iTunes. And in iTunes, in the audiobook section instead of the music section, you can start listening. So that if you're listening to the Gospel of John and you listen for 10 or 15 minutes in your car, and then you stop it, it will remember where you were and it will just pick right up. So you're not constantly starting over or trying to find this chapter or whatever. So, so those are the ways that it is released right now. Is at storytellerbible.com, you can stream it or you can uh, download it. You can stream just chapters, you can stream an entire book, or you can download the audiobook file, put that on your tablet, put that on your phone. Uh, people have already asked me if this is going to be available on Audible. Can you just buy it on Audible? And unfortunately, it's not. You won't find this on iTunes. You won't find this on Amazon. You won't find this on uh, Audible. And the reason, again, is some of the copyright things. I am so grateful that the folks behind the CSB gave me permission to, to put this out here, to distribute it, to share it, to give it away. They even said that I could sell it. Uh, but again, as, as I mentioned earlier, we decided not to. 
Um, but one thing I can't do is I can't distribute it in the same channels that they have their audio Bibles in. So it really can only be found through my website. One of the things that we're exploring is the uh, is building an app. Now there's obviously cost behind that, and since we're giving it away, one thing you will find on the Storyteller Bible page, you will find some donate buttons. There, you know, there are, I don't know, three on the page or something like that at different places in it. But uh, but a way for you to donate to support uh, to to support this and and help us create new ways to give it away. Now I think the only way that we're planning to sell it is if it turns out when the whole thing is done, that there are enough people who really want to, um, to have CD copies of it, then, then that would be something that we would, have to, that, that we would have to charge for the shipping and the production of that. But that's still something that is to be explored. Uh, and as well as the app is something that, uh, that we are exploring. Would there be a way that we could could put different playlists of of these files in there in an app where you could say, "Hey, take me to what the what the books you would recommend for new believers or theme based things." Or I mean, there there are a lot of different things that we could do with that um, with with the Storyteller Bible if we could get it in app form. But that is something that is honestly um, to 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 get it up and running and then to maintain that is something that is. Uh, uh, probably a few thousand dollars to create it and another, you know, several hundred each year um, to kind of just even keep that and make it available. So if, if, if this is something that you've been excited about, as you've heard me talking about it, then I, I would love it if you would partner with me in this. And if you're on my email list, if you've been seeing the emails I've sent out the last two days, um, if you donate before the end of the year, I did have somebody come forward and say they would match any donation that comes in up to $5,000 uh, for my ministry. So those of you that may not know that while, while I have my books and, and my speaking and everything, and you go to my site and it's keithfarron.com, there is a nonprofit ministry that I started at the same time uh, behind that, that, uh, that allow, that is kind of the, where, where we get donations that allows us to keep giving uh, most of the resources we create, most of the ebooks and the courses like Help for the Wandering Mind and, and some of the ebooks for identity messages and the thanks, thankfulness pictures and all that, all these resources that we give away are because people partner with us. And so there's somebody who really believes in this ministry and what I'm trying to do with people and the word. And so, uh, so he, is, he came to me a few weeks ago did this last year the first time, and this year he said, I'd like to do it again and match any donation up to $5,000 that is given between now and the end of the year. And so yesterday on Giving Tuesday is when I announced that, that this was happening, and I tell you, I, I was blown away. I woke up this morning, and more than half of that 5000 match has been uh, donated. So as of the last time I checked, which I haven't because I've been putting in a, a lot of final details on the website, but, uh, but it's something that uh, when I looked this morning, 2,795, so almost 2,800 of the $5,000 has been donated. So uh, if you've got different, different questions uh, about the Storyteller Bible, or if you just want to make a comment or something, I'd love to hear uh, how do you think that you will use the Storyteller Bible? Uh, and, and I'm realizing as I just said that, that while I've been so excited about telling you where the site is and what the page is going to look like, I didn't even really tell you about why I did this. <laughs> so here we are, uh, according to my number here, 14 minutes into this before I'm telling you why. How's that for uh, fantastic communication? But uh, it, it was something that I love audio Bibles, and I've listened to audio Bibles in my car. I love all the different ways in which people approach uh, audio Bibles, some of the dramatized ones, some of the really simple ones. But one thing that, that, I, that I've always thought is I wanted to create a Bible where there was nothing that would get in the way. And so, whether, so there's, in, in the Storyteller Bible, no, no music. There are, are, are no even breaks. When you're listening to a whole book, I will just start and, 
and go to the end. At the beginning of a book, I say the title of the book, so I'll say Galatians, or I'll say the Gospel of John, or whatever. At the end of the book, I say Amen. That's it. There's no John chapter 2, John chapter 3. There's, there's no headings. I've even listened to some audio Bibles where they actually say the heading that is in there. Nothing in there. It's just some, my, my desire is to create something that will immerse you in the story that is being told into the narrative of if it's a narrative piece or into what, what would it be like to listen to Paul say Galatians? Um, Cause I don't think he would say Galatians two, Galatians three, <laughs> right? So anyhow, that was the, that was the heart behind it. It is now available. If, if you would do me a favor, I would love to get this out. And I just think the people that are watching this now, as well as the people that will see this over the coming days, since this will be on my Facebook, um, uh, that will be on, on my Facebook page, please share this. So whether you share this video or whether you just simply, you know, listen to something and write your own paragraph about it and share, you know, go to the story, you know, go to storytellerbible.com uh, and that will take you to that page. And then from that page, you can go, you can copy, you know, you can copy the URL at the top of that, the full thing, and it'll pull in a nice image to, so that when you're sharing it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. But, uh, but I would love to get that out. And I'm just thinking, okay, of the, the hundreds, if not a few thousand people that will eventually see this video, uh, it, it, if some of you shared it, I mean, just think of the thousands of people over the next few days that we could let know about a free, immersive Bible that they can listen to, stream, listen to whole books, listen to chapters, or they can even download as an audiobook file so that they can constantly kind of pick up where they left off. So, um, I, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I hope that you will share it. Uh, if you do share it, if you can tag my Facebook page, uh, which when you type in at Keith Farron, it'll be the one that either show it'll be the one that doesn't show up with just my name, but it'll say Keith Farron hyphen author, speaker, storyteller, tag that page and use hashtag storyteller Bible because over the next several weeks, I'm going to be searching occasionally on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest for that hashtag Storyteller Bible and, um, and, and joining in in the conversation. So that's what I've got for you. I, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you share that you share it. And if you like it, if you are going to download it, if you believe in this and want me to create more ways, more reading plans or listening plans, I guess I should call them now, then please uh, consider partnering with us, clicking that donate button. Um, or if you wanted to, you know, uh, on my website, if you go to the donate, if you want to get the address to be able to, to mail a, a check, if you like doing that, if you don't, don't like doing things online, that's fine too. Um, so have a fantastic day. Give it a listen. Let me know what you think. And I will be, if you're on my mailing list, then I will be emailing people, e emailing my mailing list when I release new books. So my, my goal over the month of December is if not getting the whole New Testament done, I want to get at least 10 more books of the New Testament done. As I mentioned right now, there are 13. There's Jonah from the Old Testament. There's the Gospel of John, Romans, First and Second Thessalonians, um, or Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First, Second, Third John. And James, I think is what I've got on there right now. So give it a listen. Let me know what you think. And I will see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.